Tennis can be a very cruel sport, a sport that broke the hearts of hundreds if not thousands of players over the years. And this video will be going over Dustin Brown's career with the ups and downs he had to go through. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more original tennis content and without further ado, let's get started. Dustin Brown turned pro in April of 2002 when he was just 17 years old. Dustin began his career playing lower level tournaments and these tournaments have very little prize money and can involve a lot of mileage. So to cut down in both his accommodation and travel expenses, Dustin's parents bought him a camper van which he would go on to drive, sleep and cook in while he traveled on the tour. And to further pad his wallet, he strung tennis rackets for other players. Dustin was simply on his own at the start of this journey. Um... When I finished juniors, my parents were thinking about how they could um, get me to play, keep playing. So um, they thought of, um, okay, if I want to do this, this is the last thing they can actually try and do so I can play every week was to get a camper. And we got an RV, a big, a big camper in Europe, in Germany. And I was based out of basically playing tournaments week in, week out, anywhere near the area. Even if you would lose first round in the future, which was, I think, $117 you get, still have enough money to go to the next tournament for gas and then you know try and eat in the camper cook whatever and i did that for four years and it was definitely a grind you know once in a while you think oh my god is this ever gonna end does it, does it make any sense and then you play well and have good weeks and then you're really happy and then basically the thing was to try and get into the challengers his first challenger came seven years later in 2009 at the summer camp challenger and in 2010 he cracked the top 100 being ranked 99 in the world Brown received a wild card into the US Open that year, where he lost in the second round to world number no. 4 Andy Murray, but despite the loss, he played some crazy shots in that match and earned a little bit of media recognition. Well, there's a few people in front of us, they're already out of their seats and they're in Dustin Brown's corner. In 2014, he received another wild card to play in the Halle Open, where he achieved his most significant career win until that point by defeating Rafael Nadal in straight sets in the second round. And now it's passed! Da lässt du den Schläger fallen! Da bist du völlig von den Socken, wie das in Brown hier gespielt hat! Besiegt hier die Weltrangist Nummer 1, den neumaligen French Open Sieger! A year later, Dustin blew the entire world away in Wimbledon by defeating Rafael Nadal once again in the second round in one of the craziest tennis matches in the history of tennis. Game set on match one. The win of his career. 7-5, Dustin Brown. And another dream comes true on center court. And didn't he deserve it? Absolutely fabulous. Unfortunately, his magical run ended in the very next round by the hands of the Serbian, Viktor Troitsky. Game, set, and match, Troitsky. But the Wimbledon run of the man he has just conquered, Dustin Brown, will live long in the memory. In 2016, Dustin reaches his first ever ATB Singles semi-final at the Montpellier Open, and make sure to remember this tournament very well. In the semi-final, he came up against the home favorite and top seed, Richard Gasquet. Oh, remarkable. Quite extraordinary, even Richard's laughing. Dustin put on a great fight and was very close to winning, but in the end he fell short to the eventual tournament champion. An hour and 40 minutes it took. Richard Gasquet through 1-6-6-4-6-3 and a sigh of relief. A few months later, Brown received another wild card to play in Wimbledon. He reached the second round and lost to Nick Kyrgios in five sets in one of the closest and most entertaining tennis matches of all time. Oh, you have to be kidding me. <laughs> Is that humanly possible? I have a 30-minute video about that match and I promise you will love every single second of it. You can find a link to it in the description. Dustin reached a career-high ranking of the Montpellier Open 
and of course you remember his match versus Gasquet. Well, Dustin played another incredible match in the second round and managed to take out the tournament's first seed, Marin Silic, in straight sets. And there it is, Dustin Brown has caused the biggest casualty so far this year. In the quarterfinals against Penope, Dustin had the chance to reach his third ATP level semi-final. But unfortunately, he picked up a back injury and had to retire in tears for the second time. Oh. He's in some discomfort, Dustin Brown. Oh, this doesn't look too good at all. Oh. No, it's not going to happen. Oh, well, what a tragic end this is for Dustin Brown. He's absolutely devastated, and you can understand that. Put in such a wonderful performance against uh, Martin Cilic. A year later in the same tournament, Dustin came up against Nicolas Mahou in the first round. Dustin was having an incredible day on court, and everything looked to be going his way. He was just three points away after hitting this absolute wonder shot. Oh, what a point that was. Well, it's a point that perhaps will have consequences here for Brown. But unfortunately, again, another back injury forced him to retire. It looks like he's injured his back in the process. It's a big, big, big problem. Do remember another French indoors tournament where he injured his back while he was in a winning position as well. In tears, a set and 5 to up here after the shot of the week. Unfortunately, he's had to concede defeat here in this round one encounter this evening himself. We've seen it before with Brown in France. He leaves the court here to a rapturous round of applause and deservedly so. In April of 2019, Dustin won his final ATP Challenger level tournament at the Mortaglou Open, defeating world number 32 Filip Krajinovic in the final. And in June, Brown reached the quarterfinals at the ATP Stuttgart Open after defeating world number five Alexander Zverev in the second round. After the match, Dustin was asked about his back injury to which he answered, it's just something I have to live with. You try to keep working and things get better. Following this victory, he lost in a third set tiebreaker to Felix Auger Aliassime in the quarterfinal. They can relax, they can breathe, two good friends have a warm embrace at the net, a few kind words as well. After that, Brown seemed to focus less on singles and more on doubles as he was competing in more and more doubles events and was finding more success as he was reaching a handful of quarterfinals and semifinals in challenger level events and ATP events. Dustin received a wild card into the 2021 Stuttgart Open due to his performance in the previous edition. <laughs> he lost in the first round to Nicolas Pasilashvili in straight sets. And unfortunately, this was his last professional ATP level singles match. Thank you. If you're wondering what Dustin has been up to these days, Dustin has been struggling with a lot of injuries in 2022, but right now he's playing and focusing on doubles events and is currently ranked 110th in the world, his highest ever ranking since 2016, and hopefully he will crack the top 100 in 2023. Hope you enjoyed today's video, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more original tennis content, it really helps me create more videos like this one. Let me hear your opinions down in the comments and see you in the next video. Have a great day.